Hi guys, in this video we will explore 7 reasons why CapCut is the best free video editor. I use CapCut to edit all my videos and it helps me easily turn all my ideas into reality. Overall, CapCut is a powerful and user-friendly video editing app that can help anyone create professional looking videos quickly and easily. Whether you are a content creator, social media influencer or just looking to create some fun videos, CapCut is definitely worth checking out. You can find the link in the video description. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add new fonts to CapCut and how to place text behind a person in the video. The cutout tool helped me create some of the most interesting videos on my YouTube channel, such as how to blur video background, how to change background and walk by transition. Open CapCut, tap on the new project and select the video you want to edit. This is what my video looks like before editing. Tap the text tool and then add the text you want. Now tap on the add fonts and then tap on the plus button and select the fonts you downloaded. I downloaded fonts from the FontSpace website. You can now enhance your videos with new fonts. Choose the color and animation of your text. Extend the text to fit your video and then export it. Tap your project and then select both, the exported and the original video. Tap on the original video and then select the overlay feature. Select the overlay video, tap cut out and then select the remove background tool. After completing this process, your video should look like this. Export the video. In this part of the video, I will show you how to use the new text to speech tool. First, add the text you want. Now tap on the text to speech tool and choose one of the many voices that you like. Hi guys! Hi guys! In this tutorial I will show you how to make Hi guys! In this tutorial I will show you how to make this awesome transition. When you choose a voice, save the change and the program will immediately turn text into speech. After that, if you want you can remove the text. Hi guys! In this tutorial I will show you how to make this awesome transition. In this part of the video I will teach you how to create a glitch effect. This effect can help you create a cool intro for your videos. Before editing my video looks like this. Copy the video, tap on overlay and move it below the main video. Now select the cutout feature and remove the background. Go to effects and in the glitch section select the effect you like. When you choose the effect, set the speed and save. Match the effect with your video. Tap object and then tap overlay video.
Now you can go back and select the glitch sound effect. Export the video. The auto caption tool is one of my favorite features because it can instantly convert the speech from your video into text with just one click. Select the video with your spoken narration. This is a sample of the audio in my video. It is very useful that I can easily pack all my equipment and safely carry it to the various location where I take pictures and record my videos. With an all-inclusive zip, tap on text and then select auto captions. After that you can select the language you speak in the video and adjust other settings. The cool thing is that you can change any part of the text and make it even more interesting. Now my video looks like this. It is very useful that I can easily pack all my equipment and safely carry it to the various location where I take pictures and record my videos. With an all-inclusive zipper, no details are missed, providing all-round protection. You can also turn on the dynamic captions option. This feature allows you to add subtitles or captions to your video in real time. Now my video looks like this. I did with the quality of this bag. It's made of high quality material. I really like the collage option because I can easily create 3 layer video for my social media. I will show you how you can do it to tap new project and select 3 videos. Then tap the collage button. Select the format and then select the aspect ratio. Now you can change the position of your videos. My video looks like this. Export the video. Now I'm going to show you how to change the sky in a video using a chroma key tool. Tap on new project and select a photo or video of the sky that you downloaded. Use the same format as your video. Now tap overlay and add your video. Match it with your background. Tap the overlay video, then tap cut out and select chroma key. Place the color picker on the blue color and then adjust intensity and shadows.
difficult to adjust to and adjust the hues and temperature, so that the colors in the video looks as natural as possible. Export the video. In this part of the video I will show you two ways you can use keyframes to improve your videos. The first way is to create cinematic movements in your video and the second way is to create a transition using keyframes and filters. Tap new project and select the video you want to edit. Before editing my video looks like this. To create a zoom in motion you need to add keyframe at the beginning of the video and then zoom in at the end. You can choose the graph you like. Export the video. Now I will show you how to create a filter keyframe transition. Tap on new project and select two videos. Remove the parts you don't need. A few frames before the transition button add a keyframe and then select the same filter as I did and reduce it to zero. After that, at the end of the video, increase the visibility of the filter. Now add a keyframe at the beginning of the second video and then select the same filter and increase the visibility to 100. A few frames later, reduce the filter visibility. Your transition should look like this. Now you can export the video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit the links in the video description.